Hi, hello everyone. This is Dr. Chiranjeevi Manike, Professor and Head of Data Science and Cyber Security Department, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. As part of Data Mining Video Lecture Series, in this lecture, we are going to discuss base classification methods. So, mainly we are going to cover what are the Bayesian classifiers and then uh, we are going to have a detailed discussion on this base theorem. So, what are the Bayesian classifiers. Bayesian classifiers are the statistical classifiers. Statistics means mainly the based on the probabilities. So, these Bayesian classifiers predict the class membership probabilities. Like, suppose if x is a tuple, then it would predict what is the probability that the class label of that particular attribute x. So, let us say some ci is the class label. So, this Bayesian classifiers would be used to predict the, the class membership probabilities. Next, the Bayesian classification is based on the mainly the Bayes theorem. So, we will discuss in detail what are the terms we use and how we can apply this Bayes theorem to the real world problems. So, studies comparing the classification algorithms have found a simple Bayesian classifier that is called as a naive Bayes Bayesian classifier that is to be comparable in performance with the decision tree and selected the neural network classifiers. So, Bayesian classifiers uh, have also exhibited the high accuracy and the speed when applied to the large databases. So, these naive Bayesian classifiers assumes that the effect of an attribute value on a given class is a independent of the value of the ad other attributes that is the class conditional independence that also we will discuss in the next lecture why uh, they made uh, the assumption like a class conditional independence in order to reduce the computational uh, cost and it is made to simplify the computations involved and in this sense is considered naive. So, Bayes theorem is named of Thomas Bayes did early work in a probability and addition theory during this 18th century. So, before let us just have a basic concepts to understand the Bayes theorem. Let x be a data tuple that is considered evidence in this Bayes theorem. So, for example, as we discussed many times about the data set and what are the attributes like the, all the columns these are the attributes of a data set and these rows are tuples tuples and these are the attributes attributes of this data set so here the x be a tuple right it could be or it could be anything like every row is a tuple. So, x be a tuple and that is considered as a evidence. So, it is described by measurements made on a set of n attributes. Like for example, the attributes a1, a2 and so on. Let us say there are n number of attributes. So, the each tuple like suppose and this is a tuple and each tuple is described by measurements made on a set of n attributes there are n attributes a1 a2 a3 and so on n attributes here let h be the sum hypothesis such that the data tuple x belongs to a, a specified class so the basic objective of a bayes theorem is to to predict the probability predict the class label of a particular data tuple. So, the data tuple is represented as a n dimensional vector. I would say like x is a data tuple and it would be represented as a n dimensional vector like the values x1, x2 and so on, x, n. So, there are n values. So, corresponding to the attributes a1, a2, a3 and so on a n respectively. So, here let h be the some hypothesis such that the data tuple 
x belongs to a specified class. So, what do you mean by hypothesis? It is an initial assumption or a statement made based on the based on some uh, data, not enough data. So, that is why that hypothesis need to be evaluated whether it is a, or the hypothesis is accepted or not accepted. So, once we observe the evidence like this is the evidence we have. So, based on that evidence, so then we are going to say the hypothesis is a valid or a invalid hypothesis. So, for classification problems, we want to determine this probability of H given X. So, that is the probability that the hypothesis H holds given the evidence or observed data tuple X. In other words, we are looking for the probability that the tuple X belongs to the class C. So, what is the probability? Because there are like n number of tuples. Let us say and this data set has the samples or the tuples. There are n number of tuples, n number of tuples and, and there are like m number of classes like C1, C2, C3 and so on, C, M. M, num m number of classes. So, then we have to find out the probability like suppose if you take any tuple, let us take this one. So, then what is the probability that the class label of that particular tuple is C1, C2, C4, etc. and Cm. So, that is the probabilities we are going to look here. Okay, Let us uh, take one simple example to understand where we could apply this uh, base theorem that is one uh, real uh, real life uh, example. So, this is the real life example here and the, uh, the problem statement is uh, we have to predict whether a person will purchase a product on a specific uh, combination of a day, discount and a free delivery using an IV based classifier. So, the data uh, would be the data that is the input, the real world data would be in this format like uh, it has the few attributes like a day, discount, free delivery, purchase, etc. And this and this data and how we are going to apply this uh, base theorem to find out or derive the meaningful in insights from this data, this kind of data. So, here and here we have mainly the three uh, attributes like a day, discount and a free delivery. Under the day, we have weekend weekdays, weekend and holiday and a discount whether the discount is given or not and also the free delivery yes or no. And we have the we are the probability like whether the customer is going to buy a product or do not buy the product. So, here I would uh, write a one a conditional probability by, based on this base theorem like suppose what is the probability like uh, here I would write what is the probability of buy by given day equal to given day equal to weekday weekday and weekday and the discount discount equal to yes so this is a one uh, a problem we could solve using this base theorem so, let us just quickly understand, we will discuss one, the running example. I will apply this again, the base theorem in the coming lecture uh, to calculate the complete all the probabilities and uh, we can come, we can find out the solution. But here just want to just uh, want to give a quick idea of how the base theorem could be applied. This could be considered as one add on example also. So, here if you see this the as per the base theorem, like we can estimate the probability like probability of buying or probability of buying given the day is weekday and the discount is yes that means so there is a discount offer and also the day is a weekday and what is the probability a customer will buy a product so that is the and this could be solved using a base theorem but we did not yet discuss the in detail about the base theorem like what are the different uh, product rules if there are more number of attributes like suppose and so far we discussed about the probability of a given b okay only 
the one condition here but if there are two more two or more number of conditions like the like uh, weekday day is a weekday and the discount is yes and uh, free delivery yes like we can take the many combinations so how we can apply this base theorem to solve such kind of problem and if you look at the base theorem that is probability of a given b equal to probability of b given a times probability of a over probability of b here these four terms mainly like a prior probability and the posterior probability and these two like a probability of a and the probability of b are the prior probabilities and whereas the probability of a given b and the probability of b given a these two are the posterior probabilities so here the marginal cons uh, marginalization constant or this constant that is a probability of a b would be constant that is a constant for all the classes so here the probability and this would also call it as a likelihood that is a probability of b being true given a is a true whereas a prior probability that is the probability a being true this is the knowledge so these two probabilities like a prior probabilities does not require a much information like a posterior probabilities whereas a posterior probability you can see like probability of a given b so and this required a much information like suppose if you take a, our a running example like in that running example we have the attributes called as age age income age income rating credit rating credit rating etc so here the age is one attribute income and credit rating etc and if you take one a uh, tuple let us say x the age is 35 years income is like so let us say some 48000 dollars that 48000 dollars so and the outcome of this data set is uh, whether a customer buys computer this is the a class label that is yes or no under this we will find the yes or no it has the two uh, values it has two categories like yes or no so and this whether the customer will buy a computer given like let us say x is a 35 years uh, a, a customer with a customer aged uh, 35 years and uh, his income is 48000 dollars so then we would predict whether that is we would express like this this we can consider it as a b and this we can consider it as a a so then we will express in terms of this base theorem that is to find out the probability like if a if a customer is 35 years old and 48000 of income then what is the probability that a customer will buy a computer so that probability would be calculated based on this using this base theorem so that that's it uh, we discussed about the mainly the base theorem this is very very important to understand what is a posterior probability prior probability and the marginalized const, uh, constant so next lecture we will be uh, going to apply this base theorem to find out the solution uh, to the real world problems like suppose in this case like probability the a would be considered as a by a computer and x uh, b would be considered as a 35 years there are two attributes like 35 years age and 48000 of dollars so then the what is the probability that is probability of buys computer given the customer age 35 years and the uh, his income is 48000 thank you for watching this video